Then the space in between the pear and an arachnoid. In the subarachnoid space contain the cerebrospinal fluid. At certain areas, the subarachnoid space widen to form cavities called cystine. At the space between the cerebellum and the medulla oblongata, the subarachnoid space is widening. At this space, cerebellum medullary cystine. We have other types of cystine. Interpedencular cystine. We have Ponta system between the cerebellum and then the occipital pole, cystina quadrigemina. We have cerebral medullary system or cystina magna located between the cerebellum and then the medulla oblongata. We have ponto cerebellar system located at the angle between the pon and the cerebellum. Interpendicular system located between the two cerebral pendicles. Then chiasmatic system located anterior and below the optic chiasma. There are other systems. Cystena quadrigemina, cystena ambient are all localized enlargement of the subarachnoid space. There's the clinical notes. The commonest clinical condition that affects leptomeninges is the inflammatory process called leptomeningitis or simply meningitis. Meningitis is characterized by inflammation of the arachnoid and pear matter caused by bacteria or virus. The inflammation can spread into the ventricular system. The common complication is the formation of fibrous adhesion between the pair and then the arachnoid, which interferes with the CSF circulation. Other notable complications include brain abscess, brain infection, hydrocephalus, ventriculitis, and dura sinus thrombosis. The common complication of leptomeningitis in Ghana is sensorineural hearing loss and blindness. That's from the research by Hudson and Tar, 2001. Another application clinically of the subarachnoid is cystena puncture. A suboccipital puncture is a diagnosis procedure that can be performed in order to collect a sample of cerebrospinal fluid from the for biochemical, microbiological, and cytological analysis, or really to relieve increased intracranial pressure. It is done by inserting a needle through the skin below the external occipital protuberance into the cystina magna or cerebral medullary system. And it is an alternative to lumbar puncture. 